Hey guys, Austin here and welcome to the home tour. Today we are in Columbia City on the south side of Seattle and we're looking at a home that has been completely remodeled and renovated literally from the ground up. The home that we're looking at today is a three bedroom, two bathroom property. It has exactly 1500 square feet and it's priced just under $1 million. Uh, before we jump into the tour, I wanted to say thank you to Laura Lynn of Compass for allowing us to tour her listing today. I'm super excited to show you guys this one, so let's go ahead and jump into the tour. All right, guys, here we are. Time to start the home tour. This one is currently priced just under a million dollars. And it's been on the market for a little bit. It's actually been on the market for about 33 days. Um, they did a full remodel on this one. It actually looks like they did a great job with it. So it has new siding new paint they did a whole lot of new like landscaping so you can see they put in this new uh, retaining uh, retaining wall and one thing that's, that's nice is they also have a, a nice roof on here that's new uh, gutters are new as well and one of the nice things about this lot specifically is that you don't really have any like neighbors like up on this on this side of the property and you'll see that when we go into the back deck like some of the homes in here do have uh, like very visible into the neighbor's backyard type of a setup so uh, and I'll go ahead and show you guys this over here so they did a whole new um, electrical panel and setup as well too because this is an actual so this is new code requirement <laughs> they actually will probably want to have this locked so this what if I turn this off this will shut off the power to the entire house and they 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 made that a new code requirement so that uh it's for like if emergency vehicles, if they need to like access the power or shut it off for some reason, I think it's for firefighters actually. Um, but sometimes you need to like shut off the electrical to the house. So they needed that there, but yeah, that should probably be uh, locked up. You can kind of see right here that you can put a lock right here and a lock right here actually. Anyways, there's your little lesson for the day. I just, I actually just found that out not that long ago because it's kind of a newer thing that happened. Okay, here we are. So it smells like a nice new home. And I think what's doing that is the actual carpet. Um, so they put new carpet in. We'll show you guys that in a second here as well. Um, but yeah, super, super nice, open, light. They put lots of can lights in here. Hey, I hope you are enjoying this tour. I'm definitely having a fun time putting it on for you. Before you leave today, I wanted to encourage you to check the description of this video as I have a very special gift there just for you. All right, back into the tour. So you have, so it's a three bedroom and I think that this would probably be the primary bedroom right here. So you can kind of see, you do have a view out into your, the front lawn. Uh, it's not a super busy street actually. Um, but yeah, so you kind of have like the ceilings that go up like that. And let me just make sure I kind of, so it's not there. This isn't huge. I mean, it's a 1500 square foot house. So, I mean, it's not going to be like huge. This is the closet. Um, the, the, the biggest, one of the biggest bummers is like, there's no built-ins in any of the closets. So you definitely, I mean, you can't really like just lay your stuff on the floor. So that is one thing that you would really have to do for this house specifically. And then this bathroom is actually really nice. So ceramic tile on the floor. If you notice, they have a, I don't know what the dimensions are on this, but it's probably like a two feet by four feet. So it's, they're big rectangular pieces of tile, which is pretty nice looking. And then they have a black uh, shower. So the, it's like a subway tile here, um, but it is a mat. So there's not really a gloss to it. And then they did like, uh, so black fixtures here. You'll notice some gold accents throughout this house as well. And then a little bit of a tighter fit, um, but you have a double vanity here. And I really like these mirrors. I've seen, I'm starting to see these a lot more. So these are becoming a lot more popular, which is kind of a bummer because it means that they're gonna go out of style at some point, but still really nice. Uh, so it does have heated floors. That's what this is. So yeah, overall, they did a really good job on this. Um, so here's one of the bathrooms. So this is the powder bathroom. So this is what the, the guests would use if you had like guests come over or whatever. And you can kind of see what I was talking about. Like down there, you can kind of see into the entire neighbor's backyard. But up here on this lot, there's not really a neighbor to our left side, which would be facing east. 
which is nice. So you have kind of a, a dining room type setup right here. Now, one of the things I love about this is the fact that it has a heat pump with these uh, LG registers. Super nice for pumping into heat and cooling. And today we are in August and it's super hot outside. Um, and so, yeah, really nice to have that. So they put a wine cooler in here. So these are like the types of things that, especially if you're, do, if you're like doing like a flip or something, like these types of things really help sell the home because you know the more little goodies basically that you can put into the house, the more you can make your investment property that you're flipping stand out from the competition, if that makes sense. And so if you're an investor or thinking about doing investing, really like the more little goodies and stuff you can put into a house, the better. So the thing about this is if you watch a TV, you would have to put it on that wall and so that's interesting. I'm gonna walk this way for a second because I might have some open house guests coming. Okay, nope, they were just people walking. I gotta kind of keep an eye while, while I do these videos. Um, but anyway, so yeah, super nice hardwood floors. So quartz countertops, I think that's what they use throughout the entire property. Um, you do have a heat, um, sorry, an electric range and this is a samsung so it's new and then this does have a downdraft system but they also put in the overhead uh vent the vent as well one the other day i turned one of these on and it was broken and made this terrible noise let's see if this one works it works. I don't know what happened, but the other day I had one and like the fan must have been like not connected right or something. It just made like a grinding sound. I had to shut it off real quick. Um, anyway, so they went two tone here with the cabinets, which is pretty sweet. Actually, I, I like how they did it. They did go gold fixtures on it. So you have to, obviously this is, these are things that are pretty easy to switch out if it's not your exact taste and the gold can go out of style. Um, but right now it's in style, so I think it, it works really well, and I think it's actually a good choice. You know, handles and stuff are easy enough to change. And they're nice cabinets, too. So, I mean, this is, like, not, like, your cheapest stuff, actually. This is pretty expensive stuff that they put in here. And then this is kind of cool. So, I think maybe that's actually meant for a microwave now that I'm looking at it. But they kind of just staged it. Interesting. But I don't see a power supply, which is... I think that's probably going to be something that people question in this one, just because a lot of people do use microwaves. And so you would put the microwave right here. And I think that, you know, not having the electrical outlet there to do so, that means that somebody would have to drill into the wall to get it ran up there. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, so textured subway tile, rectangular shaped. But yeah, looking, looking pretty good. So yeah, so this, this one was actually built in 1906. Crazy. Um, and then this is a smart fridge. So if you want to, maybe this is the TV. I have the TV right here. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's look at the freezer. One of the things I like to look for is what kind of ice it has. And I don't see any ice in here. Interesting. So does it have water then? It doesn't have ice. So the ice is in here. I don't want to open it and break it, but I always like to look at that kind of stuff just because it's interesting to me. They've been doing a lot of interesting things with the ice. But yeah, all cool around. So what is this, a Samsung probably? Yes, this is a Samsung. But yeah, so I mean, it's nice. So you've got your humidity control. So this has something to do with like fruits and vegetables and meats and whatever. So it's nice. I mean, the fridges are actually kind of interesting these days. Like they have them that make like different like shapes of ice. And like some of them have like water pitchers in them. This one doesn't. This one just has the whole thing right here. And then it's a smart TV, so you connect it to Wi-Fi, and honestly, I don't even know what you would do. It has apps. <laughs> like, what the heck? But because we're not connected to Wi-Fi. Oh, my gosh. So you can do, like, Instacart? That's hilarious. 
You got Alexa smart orders, Spotify. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is kind of funny. Weather, calendar, dude, what the heck? This is interesting. Okay, and I'm not really a Samsung person, so I, like I have like an iPhone stuff, so I don't really, I'm guessing this is pretty native to like the phone as well, because I'm seeing like the way that the menu works down here. So if you're used to uh, an Android, like this would probably be pretty, pretty nice, pretty second nature. But, and I don't see Apple making fridges anytime soon. Okay, so sorry, enough with the, with the fridge talk. I'm gonna move on. They got a nice little chandelier there. We'll go take a look out back. So one thing you guys can keep an eye out for when you're looking at homes and stuff, especially new homes, uh, not, you know, this one's like been like completely remodeled and whatnot, is when they put in like this, the wood grade material. So here we have a wood grain, uh, wood grade uh, deck and a handrail. Do they put a finish over it? So they did here, which is a really nice thing to have because if you don't finish your wood uh, materials, they will gray out here in like in like two months, basically. And so the problem in Washington is that you do have to like redo the finish on this. Like honestly, with decks, you're supposed to do it like every like one to two years. And with like fences and handrails, it's like every like three to five years or something like that. Pretty crazy, honestly. So here's the backyard. There's the neighbor's yard. You, not really much of a view. You can kind of see, I was trying to figure out what that is over there. I'm honestly not exactly sure and I don't want to say because I don't want to sound stupid. Not that there's anything wrong with sounding stupid because I do it all the time. All right, so that's going to do it for the upstairs. I'm going to just check one more time before we head down. See if we have any clients here. All right, cool, good to go. But yeah, look at this. Uh, so they put some interesting like fixtures. They put some interesting elements in here, and I think like, you know, just kind of speaking to anybody that's looking to do investing or would like to get into investing in the future, I, I think that that's the point that I would like to drive home. Is like the more like interesting elements that you can put into your investment properties like the easier of a time you'll have to sell. So anyway, so you have like the laundry room here, you have a, a, a hot water heater, this is electric. So these all have different modes nowadays and you can actually control them with Wi-Fi. So if you like go out of town, you can like set it onto a different setting uh, just to be like optimal for uh, energy use. You have a dark floor here, of course countertops with the same cabinets that are, and vanities are upstairs. So. They got the cabinets all pretty nice. So they did go two-tone here. It actually looks nice. And then that is the pan right there. This is gonna be just like a quartz countertop type thing for the lip. Black hardware. So they didn't, you know, for by no means did they overdo the gold. I think it looks really good how they, how they did it. It's nice and balanced. Okay, so we have another bedroom down here. and then another bedroom over here. They're not huge bedrooms. So you could use this as a primary if you wanted to. It's up to you really. And then this is where you would watch TV. So, you know, that you can watch TV, we're gonna live. <laughs> and then they put in kind of like this, they did some landscaping stuff here. I know like the yard, like it needs to be mowed or whatever, but you know, that happens with investment properties, you know what I mean, when they sit for a little bit. So that's really an easy thing to do. And honestly, the, the person that did the flip did, did a really good job overall. It looks really nice here, actually. And I like a lot of the things that they put into the property. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Hey, before you leave, don't forget to check the description of this video as I have a very special gift just for you. And I will see you guys in the next tour. Take care.